Hey Kaijudo Duelist, this is Carl Reddish, and I've got an exclusive preview card from the upcoming Kaijudo expansion, Invasion Earth. Now, Invasion Earth will officially be breaching the veil November 7th, 8th, and 9th, so be sure to check with your local game store to make sure you got the right date and time for your set premiere. Now, without any further ado, here's Cassiopeia, Starborn. Cassiopeia Starborn is a level 10 creature, so let's take a look at what you get for your 10 mana investment. Right off the bat, you notice he's a Celestial Dragon, so he's going to benefit from all five of the Firebirds' Dragon Song ability. Makes him cheaper. You could see this guy in the battle zone as early as turn 7, turn 8, turn 9. Uh, he is a triple breaker. Uh, breaking more than two shields is always a good thing. And what's better than a Solar Flare? It's going to be a Supernova. So you get the Lyra the Blazing Sun effect by tapping, but you get to tap all of your enemy creatures and you can go ahead and start attacking their creatures to banish them to gain control of the board or just even push for game. So, uh, and then also his 12,500 power gets over uh, Andromedas, Dracothanes, Kuragars, gets over a lot of the major creatures that we're seeing in, uh, in Kaijudo right now. So here is a hypothetical board state that I set up to show you some of the cool things you can do with Cassiopeia Starborn. Let's say it's turn 8, you've already charged your mana for the turn, and you want to go ahead and summon Cassiopeia Starborn. You could do that because of the song, Dragon Song ability on Lux and Umbra. It makes uh, all your dragon creatures cost one less, so you put him into the battle zone, and you're able to do the Solar Flare ability, which taps all enemy creatures. They cannot untap at the start of their next turn. So it, it gets it doesn't target, so it gets around Volcanic Temper from Emulator and also Aura Armor from Haven. So essentially you have two turns to deal with these creatures. So let's do some attacking and see if we can't get rid of them. Lyra the Blazing Sun will go after Emulator, and because it has Draco Thane's Envoy, it has Slayer. So they would both be banished. But instead of uh, banishing Lyra, let's go ahead and just banish Lux with his Andromeda's Envoy ability. Very cool birds. And then you've got something like uh, Herald of Infernus would go after a Aqua Strider. It wins the battle and does its war cry. Uh, it could drop a Dragon Knight Valarin or something like a, another Cassiopeia Starborn. But let's just do a Dragon Knight Valarin because it has fast attack. Uh, this would enter the battle zone. It has fast attack. It can attack right away. So it would go after Haven. And because of its Draco Thane's Envoy, it would have Slayer. So these two would both be banished. And basically, it leaves these two creatures on the field. Uh, and they're not going to untap at the start of your, uh, your opponent's next turn, so you're able to deal with them again later. So, uh, for reasons of that, I think this card is really, really good. I think it's great in dragon builds. I think it's great in control builds. Um, tell me what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, I would like to thank Andrea Cole for letting me have the preview along with Wizards of the Coast. Um, as always, my shields are blasts. You guys have a great day. Peach.